Hi, this is John Han with the Pulsing Cinema, and today's movie is a, a newer film, a, a modern horror film which I think is actually pretty damn good, Starry Eyes. And it's about a, a young Hollywood hopeful uh, who is a young, young girl who's trying to make it in Hollywood as an actress, and she lives in a, in a crappy little apartment with four, four or five or other uh, millennial hopefuls. And uh, she's working at kind of like a Hooters restaurant uh, called Big Taters, where she's got to wear, you know, like these little uh, skimpy outfits and and deal with her manager's crap. And she finally gets this audition to this uh, very uh, unusual um, uh, for this unusual film uh, with this big producer. Uh, called Astraeus, and uh, she gets uh, involved in some some very uh, there's some very weird uh, <laughs> auditions that she has to go through, and eventually she has to make a decision, uh, and uh, she has to uh, come to the understanding that in order to make it in Hollywood, sometimes you have to make uh, a few sacrifices, and in some cases a few blood sacrifices and perhaps you sometimes have to transform into something else. So, uh, you know, it, a great film. I mean, the lead actress, uh, Alex Esso, is, is great uh, and you really see her move. There, there really is a, a, a solid progression in this character from uh, the early where she's just this kind of very naive, very hopeful uh, actress, and then you see her, her develop, and you see her decline and, and change, and her physicality, you know, really changes. She has that kind of vulner that kind of physical and emotional vulnerability, very similar to what you see in like Mia Farrow in Rosemary's Baby. That's the only that's the one thing that immediately comes to mind. Though it's a different film. Though in fact, Rosemary's Baby does involve some uh, devil worship and some cult like stuff, and and there is some cult stuff in. Um, in Starry Eyes, which if you like kind of cult movies and strange type of uh, uh, groups and, and things, uh, you know, definitely this is this is a movie to check out. Some good gore, some very some nice uh, solid helpings, uh, lashings uh, of gore that, that'll keep you awake, uh, and just a very 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 well made film, a very well rounded film all topped off by a really great synthesizer soundtrack from Jonathan Snipes who uh, did the soundtrack to that um, uh, what was it, Room 237, that uh, Shining documentary and he's very good uh, though I feel he needs to branch out and do some different stuff because he's in danger of kind of becoming a John Carpenter Jr. but I don't know, May, you know, Starry Eyes was uh, like a couple of years in the making, and I, I, he may have already developed past that. And, and there's some there's some tracks in that Shining soundtrack that are just beautiful and, and wonderful and original. Uh, but you know, one thing I do love about John uh, about Jonathan Snipes, and then in some ways he is kind of a John Carpenter Jr. Is that you know they're getting back to the old analog synths and those scary stuff the scary sounds that were in the John Carpenter soundtracks. So that part of it I, I, I do I do like, you know. So, uh, you know, great soundtrack, uh, great acting, r really good acting, uh, for, especially from the lead, uh, who really keeps it together and, and makes the film feel a lot bigger and better, you know. If it, if, if, if it was a, just a cardboard actress who couldn't kind of give you that physical and emotional progression, then the film would have been dead in the water. But she really makes the film come alive. Uh, so, you know, great central character, and then surrounding her, you know, as I said, great direction, great special effects, uh, great everything. Yeah, starry eyes, definitely something that you need to check out.